search and find the carpet image. Now search and find images as planes add-on and then activate it. Now simply import your image images as planes. And now go to top view and switch to material preview and then switch again to edit mode. Then press Ctrl R, add some loop cuts to clean those white faces. Now select all the faces you want to delete, press X and just faces, that's all. And now we need to add subdivision, but we want our resolution faces R square. So we need to divide the mesh half before subdividing it. Now select your carpets and go to physics tab. Then you see there's a cloth option. You can increase the quality steps up to 30, 35, depends on your machine, but 15 is enough. And then go scroll down to collisions and turn on those self collisions. And don't forget to set the distances to too low. Now you can increase the quality of collisions up to 8, 9, 10, depends on, your, depends on your mission. Now select the ground and add collision in the physics tab. And set the thickness outer all the way down. Now you might need to rotate your carpets to simulate those organic wrinkles
once you like the output now we can increase the quality of our mesh so what you need to do is just go to your uh, what do you call it modifiers and after the cloth modifier you can add a solidify modifier and this is thick so <laughs> we need to decrease the thickness just add another zero before the one no oh, there you go it's enough and then we can add a subdivision stores modifier there it is and just set the viewport to and that's enough i guess and just right click shade smooth now you can just simply set your materials and scene i guess that's all thanks for watching bye bye